Hey guys, I'm Stacia with Yellow Canary Designs. Welcome back. I am going to be doing a fire swipe today, but I'm going to try it with some different colors. So we're gonna do pink and purple and blue, uh, and I'm gonna try to do the same technique as my very first fire swipe. So wish me luck. Okay, so first we're gonna put down the black here, and then we'll do our blue, purple, and then white, and then we're gonna be swiping the actual flames with the pink. So let's get started with this black. As you can see, I already um, did the corners with a little bit of black because that just helps the coverage better. All right, now I'm gonna use this torch to get the bubbles out. Now I have this pink, which is Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, and I added two drops of this acrylic pour oil from Impressa Products. I got it on Amazon. Um, I added two drops and then I just mixed it in there so it would be pretty even and now I'm going to use a little cardboard piece and just like before I'm going to dip it in here and then I'm going to do try and do a flame shape as I go up and I'm just going to skim right over the top of the paint that's already here so let's get started. Cool. And always remember to wipe off the card between each one because you don't want those colors that got on the card to go back down into the white. I'm trying to decide if I want to add more silicone to this pink because I'm not getting a ton of cells here. Oh, I got black on my finger. This is pretty interesting what's happening. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's pushing this paint away on the edges. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more silicone and swipe again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try again. I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit and then I can go back and layer in between I didn't do that last time. Let's see if it works. There's some cells coming here. Nothing huge, but we'll see what happens. Hmm. See how my cardboard is a little bit bent? I'm actually going to switch pieces because I don't want it to be like that. I need a nice straight edge. Oh, that edge is a little straighter, so we're just going to switch sides of this and see if that helps. And this one isn't a very good flame, so I'm just gonna, I wiped it off first so that I wouldn't add all that color to this one spot. I'm just gonna try and make this a little bit more curved. All right, I'm switching out pieces of cardboard here.
And that was a pretty one. So all of these cells that are coming through here, this is what I was hoping for this one. So I'm definitely going to have to go back over that one with more silicone oil on there. Also, I think an issue that I'm having is that this pink that I'm using is a little bit old. I mixed it like a while ago, like probably like over a month ago. So that's another reason I'm probably having some issues. It's not fresh. Okay, let's try going back over this one. More cells. Okay, now let's go in between. I'm gonna have to do two in between this one because I kind of left a lot of space here. That's not a pretty one. There we go. That's better. This kind of painting is just like so interesting you just never know like how it's going to react with different things like the smallest change can change the entire painting so crazy i'm going to go back on this one with like a smaller piece of cardboard to get that one because i don't want to go over all of them All right, switching to a skinnier swipe tool to go back and get some of these gaps. All right, there it is all done. It looks pretty sweet. Pink fire swipe. Here's a little close up for you. There's that bottom bright pink. The purple and blue up into the black. I like how the top looks the best, I think. Okay, so that one turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Pink fire. Pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.